Alright guys, so I have a confession. Every episode from this point on, the commentary you'll be hearing will be post-recording. Why? Because, well, let's just say I'm an idiot and I turned off um, adding audio or voice audio to video clips uh, on the PS4 menu. Um, basically what that means is if you're talking while you're recording a video clip, it won't record it. And I turned it off for some reason, I don't remember why, and I forgot to turn it back on. And the next few episodes Central are filmed over the course of a couple of and days. Car. So, to Columbia. and this is really all I played in those couple of days you outside of Warframe, so I had no way of knowing that it was turned off or I forgot. And so the rest of this series, unfortunately, will be done uh, post-play. And it really sucks. I'm really disappointed about it. Uh, since I really enjoyed the live com and the uh, genuine response you got from me. Um, during a lot of these fights, during a lot of the cutscenes. But, we're going to get through it, we're going to move forward, and we're still going to continue this series. Um, and with that said, uh, here, we're showing off the demons. Um, I believe this is the first street fight, so to speak, with the demons that we've had since uh, the last episode, because they are now on the streets, wreaking havoc through New York. Um, and the demons, and I you know, I'll, I get to talk about some stuff too, that was as well as coming, I didn't get to talk about the live com, because I either A, didn't think about it, or B, was so focused on what was going on, because all this was new to me too at the time, that I didn't really think about it. But the demons are different from regular Fisk thugs, so to speak, as they're called in the game. Because they have uh, power infused from the villain in them. Um, and essentially what that means is that each of these guys has a small amount of superpowers that you're fighting as opposed to just regular thugs on the street. And it makes them a lot harder to deal with than the thugs. But scarily enough, these guys are not the strongest enemy in the game. so. Yeah, um, so I apologize if the cuts seem strange with me talking through the cuts and whatever. Just like I said, we're gonna have to work through this whole me not accurately doing my job <laughs> in this aspect. Um, I guess I was just so into the game, I didn't even think to test the footage after I watched it. And again, again, learning experience, kind of like the first two episodes of the series. So, anyway, as you can see, like, these guys have, are very much more of, uh, like, their grenades are different. Like, the, the th like, right there, the thugs, their grenades are flashbang grenades, which is the stun Spider-Man, and those just do damage, I believe. I don't think they do anything besides just damage. I could be wrong, I don't quite remember. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually fought the demons. Uh, and... To put some perspective on how long it's been since I've actually done this part of the game, I just beat this game last night. So, a lot of this is still fresh, but that doesn't mean that all of this was recorded recently. That, and recently enough that I will actually remember every bit of it. But, especially some of the older stuff, because you fight much harder enemies for the end game, and, and we'll get there. Uh, so, right now, um, another thing I kind of want to talk yeah. about is what's going to happen now that I'm done recording Demons are down. I'll let you take it from here, officers. From starting Monday or Tuesday, Stay safe I'm not out quite there, sure officer. what There's more with day specifically that's going to be, because you'll see this episode on Sunday. So... By my every other day uploading schedule, the one after this one should come out on Tuesday. So you may start getting sp or, uh, Batman episodes again on Monday, but you definitely will not get any more until at least what at least Monday, but at latest Wednesday. It depends on when I have time to record the next Batman episode, because I'm pretty busy this weekend. So. And if they sit one toe inside the vault, 
I'll have your head. Got it, boss. Tripling security. Demons won't touch a thing. Listen up! Demons are making moves on all our caches. Lost two tonight already. Boss may be in lockup. That don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. Com check. Eagle 2, you up? Eagle 2 reporting in. Eyes on. What caches are the demons after? Need to take out Fisk's men and figure out what they're guarding. Whatever it is, I don't want it in Fisk's or the demons' hands. Snipers everywhere. Now it's time for what I think is first. probably the, the first real stealth mission of this game. A lot of junk scattered around here. A well-placed web shot could make a great distraction. That sniper has a guard watching him. May need they keep talking about gear. What does Fisk store here? Jenna, that you? Sleep it off. The stealth in this game took a while to get used to. I think it's better than most games. In that right? Uh but it definitely helps with some of the little intricacies they put into it with telling you when a guy is safe to take down without being caught. Uh, I wouldn't just say it's easy mode stealth, but it's definitely, to me, makes more sense than a lot of other games do with their stealth. Uh, you're seen a lot easier than you are in most other games that have a similar stealth system, so I think that makes things a little bit more challenging but at the same time more fun because you got to think about more when it comes to the stealth uh i'm not saying i'm good at it in this game i'm just saying that uh it definitely was better than most other games that i had stealth in so Stay alert. What if the demon shell trying to break into the vault? If we seal the tunnel below us, it'll be that much harder. And here you gotta get to visualize what I'm thinking uh, at this point, because I don't even really remember specifically what I did in this scene or what I was thinking at the time. But what's cool about scenes like this is you get to actually see, like, sometimes what the person is thinking as they're doing it without them having to say it just because of the way the stealth is done so i was trying to figure out there like which guy to take down first and how it was going to make one guy look away from the other i will say that the, some of the stealth in this game is very... Uh, like the stealth takedowns themselves get kind of repetitive after a while. That's my one complaint about the stealth in this Well, not really the one complaint, but it's one of the more nitpicky complaints I have about the stealth in this game. And right there, I was trying to... Uh, make them all congregate under that scaffolding so we can pull down all of them and defeat all of them at once, but it didn't quite work that way, so... Now, I started playing kind of a for-myself uh, second playthrough of this game, um, just to see what the how much different the game was at a harder difficulty, like the hardest difficulty, because this is on Amazing, and there's three. I can't remember what the, what the first level is called, but there's Amazing and Spectacular, um, and yeah, so it's just interesting to watch how I played then as to now, basically.
You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. I'll find another way in. Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Or a You're hole in the back. roof, but... Go myself, but you know, of course, buddy can't get that lucky. <laughs> Another thing about doing something post-com is going to be harder for me to make some of the jokes that I would have made otherwise, just because I know some of them were said during cutscenes, and I'm making it a point now to not actually be recording post-com during cutscenes just because I want you guys to actually hear it. Kind of like I did then, so it's easier for me to resist, or at least not have me have my quips, like uh, my own personal quips on here. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? <laughs> Love that line. Okay, uh, it's a reference to. Door? Uh, I know she did last summer, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's a lot easier for me during cutscenes to kind of mute myself there? on this than it was when I did it live. So. Refrain from knock knock jokes. Appreciate it. You see a junction box powering the door? Another funny thing about doing this post cop is I can kind of make fun of myself for being completely oblivious to what's going on around me. So, there's that. Also, I'm just standing here, so I must have been dealing with something else at the time. Like, maybe my cats were fighting. Or, no, yeah, no, probably not. I'm just dumb. <laughs> Smart, but I don't have anything that packs enough current. Try this. Uh, I do a graphing calculator guy, and... Genius. Oh, Capacitors there's that too. Just what I need for an upgrade I've been thinking of. Go, go, taser webs. So this is the fourth gadget you really can get in the game. I mean, you can get the one toward the bottom too, but I think it required a type of token I didn't have yet. Um... But yeah, I didn't really use the gear too much in this game until later, and even then I didn't use like a lot of them. The win. The gadget man, huh? You remind me of my son. I started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kinda anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Detective Davis. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. Now, I don't really quite remember uh, what specifically was said uh, leading work? up to this scene? Uh, must not be the right box. Keep looking. I was trying to listen while I was talking about why is this wall pose come now, but uh, I, I don't remember hearing anything about what this about what to this scene. Uh, I, I would I would imagine that if the cops were, however, going to send someone to do a search on this place in New York. Now, granted, I'm not savvy to you, New York. Hey, I doubt I would have found it without you. Hmm. We got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room that could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Aha. Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. Now, as I was saying, I'm, I'm not, I don't know, because I'm not privy to how New York's, um, really law enforcement hierarchy works, but I would imagine that a regular beat cop wouldn't be now doing this. I know this. I'm after scrapes. I should take another look around. 
and here you can kind of see me being like, uh, okay, there's scripts on the ground here, why can't I open this door kind of thing. Uh, only for it dawn on me that, oh, hey, that would go back outside, and that's probably not what I'm looking for, so I move on pretty quickly. Um, but I don't think a regular beat cop would be the one that they would send no to do a search on this. It'd be like a detective, or like a group of, like, a detective and some police officers. Like, they wouldn't just send one guy at night to go through, uh, big mobsters hideout just to serve a search warrant, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> that was kind of funny. Second floor, rusted machine parts, big honking rats. <laughs> Careful, it doesn't even seem like he has any, I got this one. any rank either. Like, he seems... I totally missed that jump. He seems like, uh... He's just like a nice. regular guy. He doesn't say he's like a sergeant or detective or anything, so... <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I just think that's kind of strange. Another secret door. I'll rig the lock. Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it. Did it open? No. This door must be hooked to another box. I did kind of like this scene, though. Like, he's my great white whale. Ha <laughs> ha! Found one. Nailed it. Hell yeah, you did. It's very interesting to see Spider-Man do kind of the Batman role in this one, where he's actually acting as more of a detective than he is like an actual superhero. Hey, check this out. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. But look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. Blew my little aura there. <laughs> Family show, family Found show. It. And here I stupidly shoot at the wall. Twice. <laughs> uh, you know, I I enjoy the live commentary for this game when I did it for the most part. I mean, there were some points where I kind of frustrated myself by being frustrated, and that's something I'm going to work on. You were but, right, Trap door. you know, watching it now, like, I can make fun of myself, and not break the mood because I again I know what's coming now so I don't have to be quite as One, deadpan serious as I was trying to be because I didn't quite know what was coming I didn't want to ruin the moment well that isn't spooky at all probably an old bootleggers tunnel and it looks like an no old bootleggers tunnel like the sandwich from Jimmy John's interesting I wonder if that's what they called a bootlegger I never really thought about that or of like through. the like the old term bootleggers that get the same from Jimmy John's. Anyway, I'm off topic, but yeah, like I since I know what's coming, it's easier for me to Got not break the mood here. early by making an ill-timed joke. Subway, maybe. Let's also place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No, it sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault. Hurry. I think that's the only time you do that particular like demons are already gone thing where you hang upside down and zip through a hole of this game. Back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an armory. Or was. There. They blew the locks to get in. Demons. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. I disagree. In some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get him! Stop the car! Roll on the rock! Sunday Hammond! Find cover! Hey Jeff! One of your tricks would be great about now! Got him! So, apparently Jeff has a taser that shoots not only long distances, but unlimited taser shots. Now, I have some know-how about law enforcement. 
And I call shenanigans on that one. But he was super helpful for this fight. <laughs> now you're just showing off. He's the most overpowered cop in history. Wait, nope, that'd be Dirty Harry. My bad. Or would it be? I don't know. I wonder who the most power overpowered cop in cinematic plan. history would be. I'm getting off topic. Oh, behind me, in front of me, they're, they're everywhere, Jeff. They're everywhere. I needed that. Your timing is impeccable. Incoming! Firing! Stay clear! Reloading! How we doing? I've got friends too! It's funny how there are earlier uh, scenes where, where Spider Man would complain. Um, well, earlier scenes when you're fighting, doing random crimes throughout the city. So I don't know if I picked any of those actual up in the other episodes. But it's funny he complained about, you know, never having backup. And like the one time he does, he doesn't mention how nice it is to have backup, simply that he has it. <laughs> so. Run away, run away, run away, and stay alive. If I lose two trucks full of gunmen in one day, it's time to hang up the webs. Don't you hang from the webs, not hang up the webs? I think hang up the mask would have been more appropriate. Also, this is the point in the game where bazookas start having magical Spider-Man tracers on them. <laughs> Spider-Man! Two demon stragglers at the yard! I'm held up! How you looking? Not much better. These guys are all over the road. They'll kill someone if I can't stop. Do my best to catch up! But you might be on your own! Stay safe, Jeff. Don't do anything crazy! Spider-Man on his own? Man. I don't know what he'll ever do with himself. I think I said when I did this live that this was harder than it looked, but looking at it now, I I think it was about as hard as it looked. <laughs> I gotta get in close. Hey guys, room for one more? I remember struggling with this, but I don't remember, I don't remember why I struggled with this part. I don't remember exactly what it was that I was struggling with. Oh, that's what it was. I couldn't figure out how to get to those two guys. Of course, I figure it out, so, you know, there's that. Starting to think I'm not wanted. And then here, I think, is one, one of the parts where I started to get frustrated. Um, because I, I don't think I realized that I had to mash the button. Or maybe, like, it just wasn't where I don't remember exactly what the issue was, but... This part really annoyed me, remember that. It annoys me watching it too, because now I'm looking at it going... I probably could have done this differently and done it better than I did the first time. Also, you can tell that I'm taking longer than the game thinks I should, because he keeps circling the same block, which I didn't realize at the time was happening. So... Yeah, I was just horribly mistiming when I had to hit the button, I think. This is actually what it was. Spider-Man, the Martin Riggs of superheroes. I really do enjoy these quick time events. Oh, great, now the three decides to run on time. I thought the guy was wearing his brown pants. The guy in the concrete mixer, not necessarily the... 
Well, the demon too, I guess. Oh, he's wearing his gray pants. And the demon goes down! You're a winner! And new champion! Sorry. <laughs> We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are going to tell their story with or without you, and they thrive on controversy. Well, controversy does create doing? cash. I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. I believe you, because you're cute. Come run the same rules with me. She's good. You would know. Uh, I had a thought, but I don't remember what it was now. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. I'm sure that's gonna work out well. <laughs> um, I think this is the first time... I I'm pretty... Like, the episode's over. I know we don't actually go back to Peter's apartment. I think this is the first time I used the subway on camera. I could be wrong. But... And that guy in that cutscene looks like an actor, but I cannot think of what actor he is or what he was. But he was like in Hitch. He played Will Smith's best friend. I cannot think of his name. I think he was on Cheers. I cannot remember the actor's name, but he looks so much like him to me. But anyway, um, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. And we will see you in the next one. Have a great one. I'm Mike Daniels. This has been Let's Play Spider-Man.